El Dorado, the lost city of gold. For centuries, explorers have tried to find this mystical place. As we uncover other lost cities, such as Troy and Angkor Kor Wat, the quest to find El Dorado continues. Now, this may be a very strange way to start a talk about number theory, but I'm going to tell you the connection. Much like the search for literal gold that El Dorado is supposedly made out of, humanity is in the stage of searching for digital gold. The rise of Bitcoin and other similar digital currencies will surely be an important phenomenon in the 21st century. But if you follow the Bitcoin story, you know that it has suffered some serious setbacks and doubts of its security. One of the problems with its security is a weakness in encryption. So, as time goes on, we will need bigger and better encryption schemes. But progress in encryption is fundamentally based on advances in pure mathematics. Let me tell you how the quest to solve one of pure math's greatest problems led to the creation of a modern encryption scheme. In the 17th century, a French lawyer named Pierre de Ferma famously wrote in the margin of his book that he had found the most marvelous solution to an equation that is now named after him, but the margin was too narrow to contain the proof. It would take over 300 years before humanity finally knew the answer to what is now known as Fermat's last theorem. During that time, Fermat's last theorem has fascinated humanity. It has found its way into literature and popular culture. In 1997, when Andrew Wiles announced the proof of Fermat's last theorem, it prompted the popular TV show Star Trek to include a correction in one of their episodes it, it, to correct an earlier assertion that this question remains unanswered in the 24th century. Science Magazine named the proof of Fermat's last theorem as one of the greatest scientific achievements of the 20th century. And it, it's an unheard of honor for a pure math result. But humanity gained more than just an answer to an old question by the solution of Fermat's last theorem. On the way, we learned a lot about a class of objects known as the elliptic curves. And from that knowledge, we were able to create something called elliptic curve cryptography, a large part of which is developed right here at the University of Waterloo. So as you can see, solving pure math problems often have dividends in applied science later on. Much like Ferma, I'm after digital gold. And by the story of the 19th century mathematician Charles Babbage, who created the first notions of computer science, I don't know if my, my research will affect your life tomorrow, but I have no doubt that it will underlie the technology of tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.